if you wanted to do a PEC2 block, you do, the first part of a PEC2 block is to inject a local anesthetic between PEC major and PEC minor in that plane over here. Obviously, don't go into the vessel, but you inject in proximity to that vessel in short axis, you will get the lateral pectoral nerve. If you slide the probe laterally, you get that wonderful view of the PEC minor ending, and you want to inject local anesthetic in that plane between PEC minor and serratus. But when the PEC2 block was described, there was some, and, and the serratus plane block was described, there were some variations about whether you should inject above or below serratus. And the truth is you should inject wherever you get a nice plane that you can open up. Um, and probably the key to the success of that block is to hydrodissect your path along that fascial plane. So that is the, the sequence. Clavicle, PEC major, PEC minor, second rib, third rib. Get down to that point, rotate the probe around, and slide towards the axilla. And if you think, the, sec the, the point of the PEC2 block is essentially to fill local anesthetic down the lateral chest wall. Don't take and I just gently move your arm out to the side and just get to bend like that. You see, it stands to reason that if you're injecting local anesthetic down here, you're going to catch that lateral innovation. What I will say is the vast majority of patients don't look quite as beautiful as this. This is a great machine, which is showing off his anatomy at his best. So if I really wanted to get reliable lateral chest wall innovation, that's when I'd move around to a serratus plane block.